this is April at Holistic Horseworks. We're making a new, better colic video for you. If your horse is pawing and eating, this is what, pawing and not eating, this is what you're gonna be doing. This is Connie with Project Spirit Equine Horse Rescue. This is one of the horses she rescued, Skip, he's 19. You start to have a lot of mysterious colics from blockages as the horses get older. If my horse is not finishing his meal or biting at his belly, wants to drop and roll, the first thing I'm going to go get is Digestin by doTERRA. And people say, how much? And I'm like, if you don't want a $5,000 vet bill, does it matter? Okay. I let him sniff it. Oh, <laughs> I mean, you eat it. And I would go in the side of the mouth, and I would just pour like that. And how many drops? I don't know. That's the first thing I'm going to do. The second thing I'm going to do. I'm going to saturate my hands with it. Make sure that they're not picky. You're going to come back to the belly button and you really want to saturate that belly button. It goes right up into the belly. Once that is saturated, I'm going to put it on my hand and rub on both sides where the skin isn't. Okay, it just goes in and it just feels so good. So that's working that way. This is working this way. The next thing I'm going to do is we're going to do our belly lifts where you lift all the ribs. And you want this to be really slow. I'm going to be in this area, not this area. I'm going to come under. I'm going to lift with my body all the ribs on one side and hold. That would kind of move a blockage that way. You would go to the other side of the horse. You would lift those ribs in this area so everything would roll this way. Once those ribs are freed up, we're going to do belly lift and butt tuck combination. So the scratching in the girth area. See how high his belly can go? Now Tommy's going to hold that. We're going to come back here. One hand on each side of the tail. I'm going to scratch and ask for the butt tuck. You can turn a little sideways, Tommy. So you can see how we're lifting large and small intestine, and I'm rolling it forward. Then I would go walk the horse a little bit. You're looking for him to poop. You're looking for the ribs to swing. If they didn't seem to get better and you needed to do banamine, you can do that. I would go back to putting more digestion in the mouth, more digestion on the belly. If you're by yourself, okay, once your horse knows my yoga, you can do both of these combined. So that's me just doing one side of the horse by myself, right? here and this butt, you would walk around and do the other side. So if your horse is acting just a little bit colicky, this is $5 of preventative just to get them through. We're lifting the rib cage this way, large and small intestine, we're lifting the other way. We're bringing you up from the rear. You want to see big farts and gas because that's usually what your blockage is. You just keep repeating this till your horse is happy. If they're still not pooping, okay, Load them in a horse trailer. That makes them nervous and usually they poop. So that's what I would do if your horse is showing any digestion issues, not eating their feed, off their feed, just as preventative.